How many times do I have to remind you not to call me when I'm at work? I'm at work too, but I just wanted to tell you that I can make it up to you tonight. I promise. Oh, shut up. Just get to the point. I don't feel like talking to you right now unless it's specifically about our kids. I gave them some money so that they could buy themselves something nice and hang out with their friends. Also, Eric wanted a new computer, which I ordered online just now. And? That's it. What else? No, it just occurred to me that you might need more money than what I normally give you. Yeah, it better be a lot more than what you've given me so far. How much am I going to receive? I'll tell you this weekend. It will be a nice surprise gift from me. Uh, by the way, uh, some woman might text you pretty soon. Some woman? Is she another girlfriend of yours? Or possibly that crazy girl from last time? I broke up with that woman a while ago. She gave up on our relationship and decided to find another man. Not that I care. This girl that I'm telling you about is a bit arrogant and brash. We only met a few times, so even I don't really know much about her. Oh, I see. The real reason you texted me out of the blue was to tell me about your girlfriend. Oh, I cannot believe this. My job isn't to listen to you brag about all your girlfriends. And I certainly do not care who you're dating at the moment. You really thought I'd want to listen to you babbling about what kind of personality your new girlfriend has? Well, hear me out. She grabbed my phone the other day and it looks like she has your number. She told me she's going to contact you and try to have a conversation with you or even meet up. I know this doesn't make much sense, but she doesn't listen to others, so here I am. I mean, if she does text you, then just stay calm and do what you usually do, okay? It's not a big deal. She's not much different from the other girls you've interacted with so far. Oh, of course. As always, I'm going to do it my own way. You don't need to tell me what to do. You're not like the other normal husbands in this world, but we have our deal, and you just need to keep your promise. If you do that, I could not care less what you do, who you meet, whatever. Yeah, thanks. Actually, I'm so stressed at work and my boss doesn't seem to be in a good mood today. I need about $15,000 this month, so send it by the end of today. Talking to you made it worse, so you must take responsibility. $15,000? Wait, are you kidding me? What about the money I sent you last month? Didn't I send you like $10,000? I mean, if you spent it all, that's fine, but uh, why do you need more money? $10,000 is not a little. Are you telling me to spend less? It's not like I'm asking you to send me $15,000 every month. It's just this month because of how stressed and busy I am. I have a lot going on at work and with the kids. If $10,000 is all I get, then I might have to rethink this deal that we have and it's not going to go well for you. I would just send it if I were you. Fine. $15,000 it is. I'll see you soon, okay? Yeah, whatever. I'll give you a nice little back massage and you can just relax and enjoy. It's impossible not to fall in love with my massage. Ladies say I am even more skilled than a chiropractor. I don't need a massage. Don't waste your time and energy on giving me a stupid massage. I can just go to a real spa if I need one. Why don't you just go hang out with your new girlfriend? And you can just send me even more money too. Of course I'm giving you lots of money, but on top of that, you know that I can't live without you, right? Why would I work so hard every day? It's all to provide you enough money and make you happy. We are truly meant to be. Look how much we support each other. Can you just shut up? I'm sending you the money right now. Hi, are you the lady living with Justin? Huh? Are you his wife, ma'am? How did you get my phone number? Geez, you're rude. Why don't we introduce ourselves first and then talk more? What kind of person would want to be polite when she's talking to her husband's girlfriend? Honestly, you know who I am, so why bother asking? Then let's just get to the main point. I'll start. My boyfriend is going through a difficult time right now. We hang out every now and then, but we don't get to spend that much time together, and we're really bummed about it. Here we go again. I really didn't want to bring this up to you, but I guess I have no choice. You don't seem to be in a good mood right now, so I'll be quick. 
this can't drag on and on. Ma'am, you need to get a divorce so that he can spend more time with me and be happy. You have no idea what you're saying, huh? I don't care about what's going on between you and him, but I am not filing for a divorce, that's for sure. Justin needs me and you need to admit it. I know it hurts, but I can do anything for him and he needs that kind of a woman next to him. I know marriage means a great deal to many people, but if you two are not getting along, then it's just better to file for a divorce and end it. Think about your children too. Would they want to see their parents fight and argue every day? Wouldn't they be stressed too? Stop being selfish and let him go. Why can't you let him be happy? Divorce doesn't mean you're a failure in life. Your parents never taught you how to be respectful to others. Or were you just too stupid and didn't get to learn for yourself? What? What did my parents do? What did I do? Who are you to talk about my parents like that? Oh, okay. But just to let you know, my children have always been happy and they're doing absolutely fine. My husband is just playing with you because he's bored. You have no right to contact me like this and tell me what to do. You must be out of your mind to say that he's serious about you. I don't need to hear this BS. I have better things to do, and listening to your lecture is not one of them. Your husband is cheating on you and you still want to live with him? To me, you're the one who's crazy. It doesn't make any sense. Really? Then I must be crazy, like you said, because my husband is really good to me and always wants the best for me. And that's why I'm not filing for a divorce. So don't you dare say anything more about my marriage. You should shut up and do your own thing. I don't think that's true. He can be a good man and a good husband, but there is more to consider, right? He is dating me and is stuck with you at the same time. You are aware of that, aren't you? Doesn't that bother you at all? If I were you, I would have already left out a chain. How embarrassing is it to admit that your husband is cheating? You are the one who should be ashamed. Your boyfriend is so afraid that I would mention the word divorce. I can tell that you're really immature and clingy. Have you never been in a real relationship before? You think you're the victim, thinking that Justin is madly in love with you, right? You think you're doing a big favor by lecturing me like this. But you'll be so ashamed of yourself if you find out the truth. What are you talking about? Ugh, I can't do this anymore. You don't get it. Just got a divorce and leave him alone. Unlike you, I really love him so much and I can be there for him whenever he needs me. Girl, that's not happening. You can just continue being one of many girlfriends that Justin keeps. While you're doing that, I'm receiving thousands of dollars from him every month. And if he sees that I want something, he will get to it right away. He'll instantly buy it and bring it right in front of me. So no, I'm not leaving him. Does he ever buy you a car? Does he ever take you to the mall and spend thousands of dollars on you? I don't think so. What? He doesn't do that to me. Why are you shocked? You're just a little pet or a toy at best for him. He likes to have a lot of women around him. Know your place. If you have anything more to say right now or in the future, be respectful and polite. I don't speak to rude people, especially like you. I will let you be his girlfriend if that's what you want. Let me see. You're one of his three pets, if I remember correctly. Three? I'm the third one? You thought he only had you? Oh, no. You're more naive than I thought. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> you were trying to defend him, but you look like a fool. I need to get back to work. So you can give him a foot massage and prepare some tea for him. Good luck. Beep, what's going on? You made me look like a fool in front of your wife. I have no idea what you're saying. I talked to her and found out everything. You gotta say more than that to have me understand what is going on. I'm talking about your wife. I tried to talk to her, but she wouldn't budge. I didn't expect her to be so impolite. I don't feel like talking to you right now, so make it short. Why are you being like this all of a sudden? I did it to help you. I told her about our relationship on behalf of you because you didn't have the courage to do it. I never asked you to do it. I would have asked for your help if I needed it. You're the one who went through my phone and created this mess for yourself. And now you're blaming me for what happened? I could clearly tell that something is going on with you. And you were sighing a lot lately. Whenever we were together, you never say anything about your wife. 
Doesn't that mean that you want a divorce? Every man I've dated ended up getting a divorce because they all loved me very much, but I didn't need them. I want you and just you. That's why I introduced myself to her when you were busy at work. You should be lucky to have a supportive and kind-hearted girlfriend. You'll never be able to find a girl like me. You're right. I'll never be able to find a person like you. In case you weren't aware, I already know what my wife said to you. Well, if you still want to continue to see me, then you'll have to listen to my wife and do as she says. What? You're insane! Let me make it clear. I have no intention of leaving my wife. My wife knows me so well and she's the only one that I care about. There is no one else for me. Just because I don't talk about her in front of you, it doesn't mean that I don't love her. It's quite the opposite. What made you think that way in the first place? She's the best woman I can find, so it makes sense for me to repay what she has done for me. How could you do this to me, Justin? I did so much for you, and you know that. She is getting in our way. Our relationship is the real one. How can I just stay put and ignore her existence? Let us just be happy together and run away. If she's not willing to leave you, then I will take action myself. I can take care of everything, and let me do it for you. No way, things are great the way they are now. I would never choose you over her. Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I meant it when I said I like you, and you seem to enjoy spending time with me too. Then one option for you at the moment is just to forget about texting her and continue seeing me like this. You just need to think differently and stop making a big deal over nothing. I can date you and spend time with you only because my wife supports me no matter what. This is nonsense. This is our relationship. You can't take your wife's side, let alone force me to consider her perspective. From now on, whenever you need to speak to her, be extra polite and do not cross her. Got that? Trust me, it's better this way and things will be fine if you don't cross her. I cannot believe you at all. She must have done something to you and that's why you're acting like this. Where is the Justin who was so sweet and faithful to me? I can't just sit here and let your wife be like that toward me. You need to file for a divorce if you want to keep our relationship. Else, I cannot do it. We're either ending whatever we had, or you leave your wife and choose me. Yeah, yeah, do what you want. I'm not getting a divorce, though. And that won't ever change. Figure it out and let me know when you have made your decision. By the way, I'm not getting you anything for your birthday. Hey, that's not fair. You promised you'd get something for me. Did I say that? I don't remember. Maybe I was drunk. You're the one who caused this, so you don't have any right to blame me or anyone. You brought this on yourself when I was trying to make it work, but then you refused to listen to me and continued nagging. Justin, you're the worst. Anyways, I gotta go. I'm busy. That's it? You have nothing else to say to me? Justin! Are you still at work? I got off early, so I came home right away. If you are home, then you know what you need to do, don't you? Why are you texting me about where you are? Seriously, I could care less. Uh, I was just trying to say that I thought you'd be home by now. I had no idea you were still at work. You didn't tell me this morning. I got off work too. I'm out with a friend. Do I need to write a daily report of my schedule? Stop being so nosy, it's annoying. Oh, uh, who are you with? Why are you asking these stupid questions? You need to be cleaning the bathroom right now instead of texting me. I didn't get to wash the dishes this morning, which means that's your job as well. I did the dishes as soon as I got here, so tell me who you are with. Why are you asking? It's just a friend who used to live in my neighborhood. We're just chatting over coffee, so it won't take long. Make some food after you're done cleaning the bathroom. Have you seen the kids? Danny is in his room and Eric is over at his friend's house. Okay, also one last thing. I'm going to Europe with a friend next month. Send me another $5,000 in addition to the $15,000 that you already sent before. You're going to Europe? Again? W wait, didn't you travel there two months ago? I went to Australia two months ago, dummy. Do you not know where Australia is? This time I'm going to be in a few countries throughout the three-month trip. That means you need to look after the children by yourself. Check their class schedules and make sure they do their homework. You'll be away for three months? I think that's too long. Can't you just come back after a month? I am going to miss you so much. 
I already paid for the tickets and my friend and I planned out everything, so don't even try to talk me out of it. I will let the babysitter know that I'm going away for a few months, so you need to focus on how to look after the kids and stop complaining about my trip. I already told Danny and I'll talk to Eric later. Okay, I understand what you're saying, but uh, I still think it's a bit too much. You better not make things hard for the babysitter. She has her own family and you can't just randomly flirt and date her because you're bored. Keep in mind that your children will be right there to see and hear everything. That shouldn't be an issue. I won't let them down. I care about them so much and I would hate to see them get upset. Well, we'll see. I just hope that you can behave. I won't be having to deal with you in Europe and I'll finally be able to enjoy some freedom and alone time. You don't know how excited I am for this trip. I won't have to see your face and I get to go shopping in Paris. You are the father of our children, so don't do anything stupid just because I'm not there to watch you. I'll behave. When did I not behave? <laughs> I was always a good father with excellent self-control. And what are the text messages that your ex-girlfriends and girlfriends sent me over the past few years? If I get any kind of call or text from any of your so-called girlfriends, you need to get me a new house. Perhaps the car sounds better. All right, I promise it won't happen again. Do you know when you return? Oh, so many questions. Um, hi. Who are you? I just have something to ask you. Answer my question, who are you? I'm Justin's girlfriend. Is this his wife? That is correct. I didn't want to reach out to you like this, and I sincerely apologize for doing this to you. But my boyfriend told me that he loves me more than you, and that made me feel so sorry for you. So I just had to ask you. I know you're really old and don't want to receive texts like this, but I just had to check. What does my age have to do with this? My apologies. I just assumed that you were old since you're a married woman. Also, I didn't know the best way to reach you, but I do really need to talk to you. I had no choice but to do it in this way. First of all, show some respect because I'm your boyfriend's wife. Excuse me? Whenever you need to speak to me, make sure that you're being polite. Other than that, you have my permission to date my husband. As his toy, you don't get to lecture me about marriage and tell me to get a divorce. You just have fun and enjoy your own life living as someone's pet. I'm not his toy or his pet. I'm his girlfriend. You don't get to treat me like this. He'll be super upset if he hears that you called me his pet. Isn't that what you are? You've been his toy for quite some time and you didn't know? Now that you say it like that, Maybe you're right. I am genuinely sorry that your husband doesn't love you, but you still can't call me a toy just because you're jealous. I just decided to introduce myself in case you wanted to know who your husband is dating. I know everything without having someone text me like this. You're not the only and there are several other toys that are exactly like you, so you have to work harder and stay focused. Or you'll fall behind the others and lose. To keep your position, you also need to make sure that you stay on my good side. It is a very competitive world, you know? I didn't understand a word of that. Besides, why do I have to be nice to you? You're just his wife, and he doesn't care one bit about you. Justin only has me, and there are no other girls. Being a wife doesn't mean a thing if there's no actual love. See... This is the proof that you're already falling behind. It seems to me that you're one of the newer toys. If my husband finds out that you're unable to keep up with his competition, then he'll lose interest in you. You're not the first person to approach me like this. I'll give you a nice tip so that you can continue dating the person you love so much. You'll be polite and do what I say. Don't ever say no to what I say. I will even reward you by giving you some money every once in a while. But I'm sure you have enough money already since you're in a relationship with Justin. I'm very confused right now and I need some time to process this. 
I'll talk to Justin and see if he knows anything about this. You can talk to him, but I wouldn't recommend that. You should think about it on your own unless you're trying to break up with him. If you want to be with him as long as possible, you need me on your side. What the hell is this? Hmm? What's up? Do I need to change my phone number? Did one of your girlfriends go through your phone again? Why do you keep getting your phone taken away by people? Oh no, did someone text you again? I only met her a few days ago. We aren't that serious. I swear on my life, we were both drunk and things just happened. I don't care how you two met and what kind of relationship you have. That's not what I'm talking about. She seemed to be very confused about the whole situation and wanted to ask my opinion. Oh, uh, we only met recently, so this is unexpected for me too. Did she say something rude to you? You didn't take me seriously back then, did you? How are you going to make it up to me? A new car might do. Send me a list of the most expensive cars you can find online by tomorrow. Okay, I'll do that. You always say that. At least you listen to me pretty well. Also, did you forget that my mom asked for a new house? That has been a while and she hasn't heard from you. When do you plan to look into that? Don't just ignore my mom's requests. I didn't forget. I, I was about to do it. I'll be able to get one for her by the end of next week. I have a headache after talking to her. I don't feel like going to work today. I'm done. When I get my new car, I want to see a Chanel bag in the back seat as well. Yes, of course. I'll get that bag for you. It'll be the latest edition of your favorite color. Yes, that's better. Take care of yourself, okay? Multiple young women are waiting for you 24-7 and that must be exhausting. Oh, I think I already know which car I want, so I'll send that along, but still do send me that list. I might change my mind for a more expensive car. Let's meet up at Starbucks down the street. Got it. Oh, I'm getting a call from that girl you talked to recently. I'll talk to her and tell her that she shouldn't be texting you like that from now on. I'll make sure of it. I don't care if she texts me or not. She can do whatever she wants to do, as long as she's respectful and knows her place. I might ask her to do a few things like simple chores for me in the future, so she better be ready when I call her. I hate it when people take too long to answer me. Yep. If I receive messages like that ever again, it won't end with a car or a bag. It's gonna get much uglier than this. Don't forget what I just said. This is the last warning from me. Ignore my warning and we're getting a divorce. You know how stubborn I can be. I'm not joking when I say I'm gonna file for a divorce. I understand. I'll write down the exact words you said and put it up on the wall. I'm gonna be out until midnight so we can meet at Starbucks tomorrow. Don't be late. I hate waiting. Okay, I'll see you then. Hi! You again. You have something more to say after that day? I was just wondering how you were doing. The last time we spoke, I didn't get a chance to say much. I feel like I made you uncomfortable without meaning to. I wasn't uncomfortable by any means. I feel fine. In fact, I couldn't be better. And if you were genuinely concerned about my feelings, you shouldn't contact me again. What are you up to this time? What are you planning behind my back? No, I understand where you're coming from. It took me some time, but I really love Justin so much. I'm going to have to do what he says to be able to continue the relationship I have with him. That's why I've decided to reach out to you again, to let you know that I've changed. I'm hoping that you'll accept me as his girlfriend. Oh, I see. Clearly, you were able to catch on to things and realize that I was right. You were so confident that he was into you. But you cannot replace me. He can't live without me. And he's the type of person to sacrifice his life to save me. Do you get it now? Not too long ago, you were just a young, ignorant girl, and then you were told the truth. I bet it was plain embarrassing for you. Yes, what you said is right. It was very naive back then, and I didn't listen to you when you were telling me the truth. I should have trusted you, but instead I was busy trying to defend myself. I regret it very much. I have to say, I'm quite amazed you were able to realize your own mistakes so soon. People usually take longer, but you're one of the faster ones. I guess it proves that you received proper education growing up thanks to your parents. 
I'm dying to meet them, actually. Don't worry, it'll just be a friendly conversation. I will tell them that you are a kind-hearted person despite being a little slow at times. Please accept my apology. I was naive and didn't know what to do, so I said some inappropriate things. My parents don't know about Justin and our relationship. I want to keep it that way for a while. As you know, it's not something to be proud of and my parents won't understand how serious our relationship is. They'll make me break up with him. Oh, you kept it a secret from your parents. Why? I'm sure you can just be open about it and act like nothing is wrong. Just convince your parents that you're serious with him and that his wife has agreed to it. I'm sure they'll be glad to hear that. Oh no, please, they'll kill me if they know about this. I don't want to break up with him and you're not thinking about getting a divorce. I'm hoping that you'll kindly let me keep seeing him and we won't do anything that'll make you uncomfortable. As long as I can see him. I can tell that you're the smartest out of all his girlfriends. You must be obsessed with him to go this far. I'm sure it wasn't easy for you to lower your guard and reach out to me again. You even apologized. Since you love him so much, you should look after my two children while I'm gone. I'm going to stay in Europe for a while, if he hasn't told you already. You mean, I'll be the babysitter while you're away? Am I allowed to meet your kids? Do they know about their father's relationship with me? What's up with that reaction? You don't want to? Just introduce yourself as a part-time babysitter. Don't overcomplicate things, jeez. We already have a babysitter who's been working for us for years, so no pressure. It's fine if you can't. I'll let my husband know that you're too busy or something. I just thought that our babysitter could take some time off for once since you sounded like you'd do anything for your love, but forget it. No, no, no. I'll do it. I'll talk to my boss and make it work. Nope. Never mind. I don't think you're fit for the position. Or maybe you can at least take care of some chores around the house and feed the dog. That doesn't sound too bad, I hope. Yes, sure, anything you say. Sounds good. Justin will be delighted to hear that. Good for you. I'm busy, so I'll talk to you later if anything else comes up. Don't hesitate, please. Thank you for accepting me. What's up? As you can see, one of your girlfriends is here in the group chat. I received another annoying message from this floozy today, so I decided to take action myself. My name is Angela, ma'am. Oh, uh, um, what should we talk about then? Before we dive into it, I noticed something so funny just now. The name Angela does not suit you at all. It's almost ridiculous that you were named Angela when you're exact opposite of an angel. You might need a new name. Don't you agree with me, Justin, babe? Honey, what's happening? You sound like a different person today, and that makes me worried. Angela, did you do something inappropriate behind my back again? What? I was always like this. I need to ask her a favor, but I have to check in with you before I do that. She needs to cook some food for our family, and I didn't know if you want anything specific. Personally, I'm craving some lasagna right now. Oh, me? Uh, I can't think of anything at the moment. Very well. Angela, lasagna is all you have to make. You've made it for yourself before, right? Yes, but... Perfect! I'm all about the sauce when it comes to lasagna, so be sure to make it goes along with the noodles and the cheese. Balance is what you need to focus on. One more thing. If you can prepare any other Italian dishes like risotto or gnocchi, make them and bring them too. My kids love Italian food very much, and they're all excited to taste your food. I told them that there's a cook that I've hired recently, and they are dying to try it out. If you're not confident in your cooking skills, then that's up to you to figure it out. Yes, I'll try my best. Justin, you really don't want anything. Didn't you say the other day you wanted some homemade tiramisu or something? No, not really. I'm not feeling it today. Well, I'm feeling it today. Add tiramisu to your list, too. There are a bunch of YouTube videos on how to make tiramisu, so it shouldn't be so complicated. I'm sure a five-year-old can make it, too. If a kid can make it, then you can, too, Angela. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then. I just got a call from the dealer, and he said that he has my Audi ready to be sent to her house. It should arrive sometime tomorrow, so if you get off work earlier than me, then take care of it for me, okay? Okay, will do. How about you, Angela? 
If there's something you need, don't hesitate to tell me and you'll pay for it. I'm kindly offering you this once in a lifetime chance, so it's now or never. No, I'm good, but thank you. I appreciate it. Mallory, please. Let me handle this, Justin. Since she's being so polite here, I will say it on behalf of her. She reached out to me and asked me how I was doing. But it was so obvious that there was something she wanted. I saw right through her. Just buy her a little handbag that's not too cheap but not too expensive either. Something that she could wear every day and not super fancy. Okay, I, I get what you mean. Anything else, Angela? I gave you permission, so don't be afraid to ask. I expect really good lasagna, though. I will just ask Justin myself if I ever find something I like, but uh, thank you. Well, do that then. Justin, you better come home before 6 p.m. today. Angela will be pouring her heart and soul into her food for us. Both of us need to be here to taste her food. Even if you have other plans tonight, I'm going to make sure you try every dish, so don't even think about running away from this. Meanwhile, Angela, I'm sure you know what I'm going to say. Get in the kitchen right now and start cooking. You don't have all day. Understood, ma'am. Great. Let me know when you're ready. Have a nice day, you two. As y'all can see, my husband is obsessed with women, but I've learned to accept it and now he's almost like a powerless servant who'll do anything I say. The only reason why I'm still living with him is his financial stability, but I'm living the best time of my life. Of course I was an emotional wreck in the beginning. However, I've come to terms with it and I'm at the point where I couldn't care less about him. I'm aware that not everybody can understand what I'm going through. Many people will even say that I'm torturing myself and making everyone's lives miserable. But please just be thoughtful about what you say. People have different opinions and ways to cope with difficult situations. No one has a right to judge and criticize. I'm still planning to live with my husband, but if there comes a time when my husband is no longer financially stable, or I become sick of him and his girlfriends, I'll file for divorce without a second thought. At the moment, I'm having fun with all of his so-called girlfriends, and they're all very obedient and respectful. They take care of everything for me, and I don't have to lift a finger. I truly feel like a queen. I have a feeling that this will continue even after my two children grow up and go to college. Who knows? Maybe they'll get married and have their own children, and I'll be here enjoying my life as the queen. Why would I think about divorce when I'm having this much fun? Thanks for watching. Did you enjoy the video? If so, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this.